Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my, oh my gosh. <clears throat> hey guys, long time no see. In case you forgot, my name's Megan. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you doing? If you haven't noticed, I haven't uploaded a video in like almost two weeks, which is literally like it breaks my heart like to not be able to make videos. If you do not follow me on Twitter, then you don't know the reason why, but I've been sick and I kind of still am, but I literally lost my voice for a week straight and I like could barely talk, so I really couldn't film when I barely had a voice. It sucks a lot. But anyways, today is a very exciting video, kind of. I mean, I'm bringing back my concert series. I came up with this series called Surviving a One Direction Concert, where I talk about different things related to a One Direction concert and how to survive it. And since Ultra On The Road Again tour is a thing, and it's like almost to the US, US, and it's like almost about to be in the US, which is really, really exciting. I thought I would bring this series back and start it off with the Ultra tour tag, um, because I did one of these for like the last tour they did, the Where We Are tour tag, so I thought I would do one for Ultra, so yeah, let's just get started. Question number one, what concerts are you attending? I kind of have mentioned this in a video before, but I am going to the Indianapolis concert in Indiana. Um, I originally said I was going to go to the Kansas City one as well, but I sadly cannot make that one. Um, but I am going to the Indianapolis one for sure, so I hope to see you there. That is like the closest one to me. That's like four and a half hours away from me because I live in Nashville, Tennessee. And they aren't coming really anywhere in the south. I don't know why they're doing that, but um, yeah, Indianapolis is the closest city to me that they're going to, so... Yep. How many days until your concert? Well, it's on July 31st, so it's like a month and a half away, and that's pretty exciting. I mean, I never really thought about that. Wow, it's literally only a month and a half away. I am so pumped, so excited. It's also going to be... It's going to be really different, though, because Five Sauce isn't opening for them, which is going to be like really weird and strange because the last two concerts I've been to, Five Sauce have opened for them and then this one they're not going to be there so it's kind of kind of going to be weird but I mean it's One Direction so what song are you most looking forward to hearing? I'm guessing they meant live. I'm definitely looking forward to hearing Where Do Broken Hearts Go or No Control because Where Do Broken Hearts Go is like my fave song and then you know there's No Control which is also like my fave song. Someone tweeted me today saying that it's been announced that No Control is on the set list for US so I mean huh, huh, I freaking went crazy not gonna lie like I, No Control live can you imagine like Question number four, how did you react when you got your tickets? Now, I can't really answer this because I technically haven't even gotten my tickets yet. Like, there's still tickets available if I wanted to go and buy one. Or I can just wait till I get there and get it from a vendor or like a person that sells tickets. I don't know what those are called. A scalper. It's called a scalper, at least that's what I've grown up calling it. But I might just wait till I get there to get tickets or I might buy them online before. I don't really know. Question number five, who's going with you? I'm going with my friends Madison and Faith and their mom is taking us. Um, I think I've been to the, with them to my other two One Direction concerts as well. So we're just keeping the trend going, you know. Question number six, how much money do you think you'll spend? I could spend anywhere from $50 to $100 on the ticket depending like which ones are still available. And I think I'll buy a shirt for sure just because I like buying shirts at every single concert that I go to pretty much. And then obviously since it's like four and a half hours away from me, I think we're going to be riding like some kind of bus there, which is kind of cool, kind of not, I don't know. But there's like a bus that goes there, so I have to pay for the bus to get there and back. And then of course like food, and we're staying in a hotel, I think. But um, you know, all those crazy expenses kind of add up. But you know, it's worth it, it's whatever. It's cool, it's One Direction. Question number seven. How far away are you traveling? I think I already said this, but it's like four and a half to five hours away. Question number eight, how much did your tickets cost? Um, like I said, I think it can be anywhere from 50 to 100. Not really sure where my seats are, so it kind of depends on that, but yeah. And question number nine, where are you sitting? Yeah, I don't know. Probably going to be towards the top, more say. More say. I don't know what I was trying to say. If you're going to the show, follow me on Twitter because I will probably, definitely, most likely tweet about when I get my tickets and where my seats are and stuff. So, I mean, follow me on Twitter, self-promo, check me out. And the last question, do you think you will cry? And if so, how many times? I will most definitely cry because I've been with these boys 
for the longest time, and obviously, like, it's it's shown through my YouTube videos because I've been doing this for a long, long time. I don't know, but I, I just get emotional around, or at any concert, I guess, so definitely the boys will make me cry, for sure. I normally always cry um, during, like, when they first come out and then when they leave, and then, like, during some of the slow songs, or, like, the songs that are, like, more personal to me or, like, slower, or, like... Just depending on the song, I cry during some of the songs, I guess. Okay, that's about it for this video, and I will more than likely do a meetup at the concert, like before the concert, like I did at the last One Direction concert. So if you're going to the Indianapolis One Direction concert on July 31st of the, this year, come on, people. Oh my gosh. I will probably end up making another video closer to the concert about a meetup I will have there because I don't really know the area much, so I'll probably have to, like, do some research and find like a place I can have it at that's close to the venue or I might just have it at the venue. I don't really know yet, but I will most definitely be having a meetup. So either look out for a video towards the end of July or follow me on Twitter. Again, self promo because you can always follow me for updates on there. That's about it for this video. If you're excited for this concert series to be back, then give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below some more like concert videos I can do in this series. Um, I'm thinking for the next one to do some like DIY One Direction concert shirts or stuff you can wear to a One Direction concert. Um, I'm pretty excited for that. I'm already actually starting to film that. What? Wait, what? I don't, that's about it. I'm going to spin out the video because why not? I'm on a spinning chair. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!